So this is my brown rice cooking. Got a little brown rice in there. So I'm about to add a little bit of olive oil in the pan. Add a little olive oil in there. Power two next. But. Okay, let that heat up a little bit. Then I add my garlic and onions. Okay, now that the oil heated up a little bit, I'm about to add my onions. Get them a little brown. I love some red onions, as you can tell. Get them in there. Spread them out. Now I'm going to add some green bell peppers in there. Next I'm going to add some garlic to it. So I'm going to add some garlic to it. I love garlic. Garlic makes everything taste good. Get all that going. All right, so you got my brown rice cooking over there. All right, I'm gonna let that cook for about couple minutes, maybe three minutes, let it soften up. Then add my carrots. I just kind of eyeball the stuff. I really don't measure anything. Alright, it's almost time for the carrots and I got some matchstick carrots because I didn't want to chop any carrots up so hey this is a quick way okay now it's time I done cooked for about three minutes and now it's time to add my carrots to the dish give it a little color a little brightness something good for your eyeballs Mmm, looks delicious. Mmm, mmm, yes it do, yes it do. Get them carrots in there. Look at all them colors and vibrant colors. So I'm going to put a little more carrots in there because I love carrots. Mm, and let, that, let them get softened up before I add on my other ingredients. Okay, so just cook the carrots until they're a little soft and then I'm going to add some peas to it. So now I'm about to add some baby sweet peas. About half of this bag and then I'll save it for another meal but let me just add them it's just a steamer that you could put in the microwave something quick that you can add to it so I'm about to add that to my dish so now I've added my peas to the mix Ooh, look how good that looks mm -mm -mm. yummy just getting hungry just looking at it 
Mm-mm. So I got my peas going in there. They looking good. So I'm gonna check on my rice and then go from there. Let that cook for a little bit. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of some lime juice to it. I'm gonna cook it for a couple more minutes, and I'm gonna let it cool down until my rice is ready to be put in there. I'm gonna just cut it down to a low. And let my rice get cooked thoroughly. Hmm, but it smells good. This is the brown rice I'm using. I'm using whole grain brown rice, Publix brand. It's a big bag for a dollar, so it wasn't too bad. So I done and I drained my brown rice and added to my add my brown rice to the mix. And so I'm now I'm just mixing my brown rice with my vegetables. So I cooked it, I cooked the brown rice for about 25 minutes and drained it. And now I'm adding it. Then I add it to the pan. So now I'm just kind of mixing everything together. The vibrant colors of the vegetables and stuff look really good next to the brown rice. Mmm, smells good too. So this could be a dish, a side dish, or, you know, I'd use it as a meal, but you can make it as a dish, side dish, or main dish. So now I want to add some black pepper to it. Want some little shake, shake, shimmer, shimmer. Okay, now I'm going to add some cilantro. I do cilantro in the little bottle because when I do like fresh, sometimes I do fresh herbs and don't use them. So I just got cilantro. So I'll just add a little cilantro in there. Okay, so now I'ma um add some turmeric to it. I'll show you. Ground turmeric. This is a good anti-inflammatory um little seasoning. So it's I love it, love it, love it. Just mix it. Now I'm gonna add some uh, soy sauce to it. Uh, you can add a little salt if you want to, but since I'm doing soy sauce with, it say less sodium, but it has sodium in it, so I didn't want to overpower it. Have real salty, so. This is the one I'm using. So I kind of eyeball everything and um, I'm gonna just add just a little bit to it. And just mix it.
All right, just continue to stir everything together. So here's the end results. Looks so good. I might just eat, I'm just probably eat half of this and just save the rest for either um, if I get hungry later or just have it for lunch tomorrow. But this is the end result. Okay, hi, and let me know if you want to try other recipes, um, subscribe, and share with everybody. This is Meatless Healthy Meal, and if leave a comment below if you want me to find a recipe and or make a recipe for you, like lasagna or something like that, um, just subscribe and share, and tell me what you think of this recipe. Try it out for yourself. Bye.